Hi, I'm Mangus, I'm the owner of AMS Porsche and I'm here to uh, give you a quick tour of what's going on. Okay, so this is outside uh, in the yard which is currently overflowing somewhat. Um, got a 987 Boxster here which is about to be collected, had a, uh, had a throttle body issue. Um, we've got a 981 Boxster which is uh, one of the sales cars for, uh, for Invictus which has just had its uh, routine prep work done. Needs a bit of a clean before it can go to the showroom but it's uh, off to the guys back at Invictus. This is the AMS Porsche uh, workshop. We are a fully equipped Porsche specialist. We have all the tools uh, required to repair Porsches, uh, both old and new. We have uh, a fully equipped engines, engine tool room. Um, we have a parts washer. We have ultrasonic parts cleaners. We have uh, P with one, two, and three, so we can cater for all diagnostics on old and new Porsches right up to the uh, current take and This 996 has had a full engine rebuild. Uh, it's had a load of exhaust modifications as well sorting out the clamps and fixings, got a new oil pump, you can see shiny bits there. Um, it's also had an MOT, it's pretty much good to go back to the owner now. 181 Cayman has come in uh, with a flooded interior. We've removed the carpets, it's all, um, it's all stripped out at the moment. The carpet is currently hanging and drying, it's literally sodden wet. You can probably see a bit of water sort of residual in there which we need to fish out. Um, clean all the drain holes so it doesn't happen again. dropped off by Invictus Motors. Um, we haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but we will be doing a full appraisal on it, full PDI check, bore scope, over rev reports, and uh, we'll be dealing with any issues that need to be addressed. So this 996 turbo on the ramp um, has been recovered in. It's got water in the oil. We're not too sure at the moment what is the, uh, what is the culprit, what is the reason, but the engine's coming out tomorrow for, for diagnostics and to, uh, to check what's going on. 986 Boxster, uh, heavily camouflaged, is a race car obviously. Um, it's a little bit dirty because it's been subject to a fire extinguisher. It caught fire in the last race it did. The engine blew up uh, catastrophically, so we're doing a full engine rebuild uh, with a few modifications, so it should be good for endurance racing. It's here for a uh, cabriolet roof that doesn't work, so we're working on, uh, on the electrics on that to get it going again. Uh, we've got a 964 at the front here, which is a long-term project, having an engine rebuild, um, recommissioning. It's been off the road for a long time, so it's a little bit uh, sorry for itself. Uh, under the covers, we've got two race cars, which just haven't moved for, for the winter break. So um, that's, the, uh, that's, the, that's the Class 2 Boxster that we race in Porsche Club. Um, you see, it just needs to be fully recommissioned uh, for, the, for the new season. 964. Uh, we did a full engine rebuild on it at the end of last year. It's uh, it's come back in just for the first sort of thousand mile oil check. Uh, it's having a geometry as well, four wheel alignment. So on the ramp here, we've got a uh, Panamera diesel. Um, it's got a coolant leak and it's got head gasket issues. So the cylinder heads are currently off uh, for for refurbishment. We'll be going back together next week. So this is our ultrasonic tank. Uh, this is what we use to fully clean all of the engine components and all of the rebuilds we do. Um, all the components go down into a fluid solution and it's uh, ultrasonically cleaned. They come out pretty much like new. So this is just a general degreaser. This particular engine is a bad example because it's actually been on fire, so there's molten plastic. But uh, what we do is then, once they've been degreased in the red tank, they come into this safety clean hot wash tank where all the parts are cleaned at 75 degrees for about 10 minutes and they, they come out completely decontaminated. So this 996 is a 3.4, it's a five chain engine, one of the early ones. Um, this particular engine is having an IMS upgrade, which you can see down here. It's got the EPS bearing uh, upgraded, ceramic bearing fitted. It's had new liners. Um, Replacement pistons, they, they are actually used in this particular engine, but they're good quality ones. 